Time now for Talk to the Lopes. Every week we talk Grand Canyon University. Appreciate the partnership with them coming up on not just 2017, but also 2018, right through the end of the school year. It's great to have GCU as a partner with Sports360AZ.com. It's funny when you look at Grand Canyon University, how there's like this imprint of people that were with the Phoenix Suns or associated with the Suns or now even cover the Phoenix Suns. And how when something happens on one hand that doesn't look all that great, it turns out that it was something absolutely marvelous on the other end of the spectrum. I guess I would point to Dan Marley, I would point to Jerry Colangelo, and now I would point to Paul Coro. Paul, of course, is uh, a longtime observer of Valley Sports, covered Valley Sports for years and years with the Arizona Republic, left them at the end of 2016, and is now the uh, GCULopes.com is reporter the right word? Do you have like this big fancy title? <laughs> uh, there's all sorts of things. Uh, I think it's an insider and a blog. It's a senior writer in the HR department. There you go. Reporter. Keep stacking you want it. To call it. Keep stacking it. You gotta <laughs> go. You know, go do sales. Go do janitorial work. I've I've added those to my work. My workload. It's fine. It's it's what you do when you run something. So you are, in all seriousness, you are running GCULopes.com. Oh, I wouldn't say that at all, but I'm <laughs> I'm uh, definitely becoming a major contributor to it. There's, uh, I'm sure there's lots of people on the back end that make GCLopes.com uh, what it's already become, and now I'm just supplementing what was there and uh, trying to add some depth to the depth and detail to the coverage, kind of enhance and get more into um, some serious beat coverage of the basketball team at, at the perfect time when they're entering this D1 uh, phase, ending the transition period, and uh, get into some human interest stories on all all the 21 teams uh, and, and cover some of their big events too. But uh, a lot of focus on men's basketball, of course. That is awesome. Uh, Paul is joining us today from Spain. That's where his home office is now. Uh, it's it's a good gig, I guess, if you can grab it, right? You're, where are you in Spain right now as you're joining us? Um, I'm in Barcelona near the seaport. Yeah, uh, getting a little dinner at uh, La Barca <laughs> del Salamanca. Yeah. Not bad, eh? <laughs> it, it's not a bad gig if you can get it. And, and you're going to do this with the intent of, as you said, to go deeper into everything, not just the basketball side of things. And that's great on one hand. But on the other, the basketball deal is going to become an octopus, I would think, Paul, because give me a more interesting, intriguing storyline in college basketball than what this little private Christian university in Phoenix is going to be able to do here in 17 and in 18. And I would argue there's not many because we all know the big powerhouses, but GCU is kind of this best kept secret, I would think. Well, there's just, there's just layers and layers of intrigue to it, as you well know, Brad. I mean, you have Jerry Colangelo, who's been advising and assisting this program into the growth where it is. You have Marley at the helm of it, coaching and a Valley legend who really grinds from the inside. If you've ever seen him, how hard he works at this job and uh, what he's doing with his uh, really great staff uh, to, to raise these guys up and get them ready for this next big step. And then the roster the, itself is just so intriguing. You have the homecoming of Casey Benson for his senior year, transferring from Oregon, former Corona Del Sol star. You've got uh, the recruiting phase where they're bringing in six, two 6'10 guys, one from Latvia, one from Italy, who are full of skill and talent and will be able to contribute right away. And uh, returning stars like Josh Braun, who was Marley's first recruit and has uh, you know battled some injuries and to, enough to be there for five years and be part of this major step. And just it goes on down the line with a bunch of guys. Paul Coral with us. He is now with GCULopes.com. He is in Spain with the basketball team. Uh, what are they doing over there right now, Paul? What, what's the purpose of being in Spain with the basketball team? Well, like a lot of teams, you know, ASU just left here and uh, U of A is finishing up here. Um, you know, the NCAA allows you to take one international trip every four years. Uh, they did Italy and Greece four years ago, and this is another great chance. One, because it lets them start early. They got 10 practices back in the Valley before they left. Uh, uh, that's allowed when you have one of these trips, and then they get here and they're going to have uh, practices. They'll have three games against local teams uh, in two cities, Barcelona, and then they'll go to Marbella. And uh, and then practices in between, and it's just it's just so helpful for this staff at this time with new, you know, whether it be freshmen or Casey Benson coming in to take over the point guard lead, to have that extra time 
bonding chemistry, but also extra basketball time. And then they, you know, they also work in the, the student athlete part of it where they get some tours, they learn the city, uh, see some museums, all that sort of thing. That's great. That's great. Okay. Let's go right down the list then for fans of Grand Canyon university, I think in college basketball in general, the biggest story is what conference will GCU be playing in down the road? Do you think it will be the WAC three, four, five years from now? I myself do not. What is your view on it? It's the WAC for the foreseeable future. Uh, you know, the, the landscape of college sports is always changing and shifting, so who knows what will come next. And certainly you think the university would be attractive elsewhere, but, uh, you know, geographically the WAC's been a good fit. And uh, they've certainly had a lot of success. I think they've got 13 WAC titles throughout this four-year transition period. Uh, so then now they're set up a lot. You know, a lot of the coaches have been sort of setting up their recruiting to have a breakthrough year this year. And uh, so maybe that, that WAC title pile gets bigger. Uh, shifting away from basketball then, give me some other programs. I know it's early, and you're also over there in Spain right now, but do, are there some other programs on campus at Grand Canyon University that you look at and say, yeah, this is going to be a, a program to keep an eye on? I had Shellis on last week talking about the soccer program. I think he's done a terrific job in following what he's all about. You got a couple in particular that you're looking at? Yeah, that would be one of them, especially for the fall. You know, I think both men's and women's soccer, you know, Derek Leader coaches women's soccer, and they've got a huge freshman class coming in that could uh, really boost that along with a, a strong senior class. And, uh, you know, I think the WAC is even sleeping on both those soccer teams for picking them where they did. You know, men's soccer got picked fifth in preseason. They have the returning player of the year. But also baseball and softball, those are those two teams would have been in the tournaments, you know, NCAA tournaments in the past for how well they've done. They both won the conference uh, this spring. So you can only imagine uh, what they can vault into, especially with the new facilities going up. You know, by the time spring rolls around, both of those teams will have brand new stadiums on campus, mm -hmm. and that can only enhance what they're doing. You know, you've covered basketball for so long, but I've known you to enjoy being out at the high school stuff. Uh, your wife is in the high school world here locally. You have your kids have gone through it now. They're uh, most of them are off to college, but. Is there a program that you're looking at that you're really looking forward to covering, a sport that you haven't covered before? Because now that you're there at gclopes.com, you're going to have the ability to just walk out and say, today I'm going to go cover X. Is there a sport you want to dive into, Paul, that you haven't before? Uh, you know, I just love telling human interest stories. And, you know, I think at a university, especially with the international influx, there's so many interesting stories right. of how people got there. You know, the track, I, I'm a big track lover. You know, I just watched the World Championships in London, and that stuff uh, I think is underrated for how special each and, ev each and every event can be, uh, the moments that, that happen within it. Uh, women's basketball at GCU will be uh, near and dear to me because uh, I've known Nicole Powell since she was in high school, and mm -hmm. uh, she's been close with, uh, been a great mentor for my daughters as they were growing up, and it's incredible to see her return as a head coach uh, for the first time in her career in her hometown. Um, she's got, you know, some building to do there, uh, but there's no doubt she's got the the character and the the moxie and the intelligence and the personality to re recruit. And uh, so the X and the O's will, will just build it from there. Good stuff. Safe travels. And congratulations on this. In all seriousness, I was screwing around off the top, but I think it's great for you to to be leading up something like this, and I can only imagine how big this is going to get through the years. Good luck to you. Yeah, true blessing in my life to have this come at this time and be with the people that I am, and it's great for my family too. Yeah, just know that we do this every Wednesday, Talk to the Lope. So if you want to jump on here and push a coach out of the way, you're always welcome to. So, just <laughs> You know I love you, Brad, and E behind there. Yeah, well, your choice of friends is questionable, but we'll let you go off that. Thanks, man. Good luck. All right. Take care. You got it. There's Paul Coro.